We are in a historic neighborhood in Las Vegas, and this estate sale is supposed to be filled with mid-century goodies. Hello. All right, let's see what we can find. Yep, right away, that is super mid-century. This is an estate sale held by Sterling Estate Sales. And I always find some really great treasures with them. And today is usually their discount day. So we're gonna have to find out if there's like a set discount or it's kind of on a case-by-case -case basis. That's kind of cool. I was looking at the elephant, but he's got a really, really chipped ear. Some pieces of art here. This is painted on board. Wow, look at that. It's the back side. There's the front side. I got almost all of the Valentina Bergman art sold. I think I have like three pieces left. We, we may be able to make the deal ourselves, you know what I mean? Look at her. That's really cool. How you been, okay? I've been good, yes. And yourself? Yeah, I can't complain. Really. I've got a good week. I'm glad I didn't say that. Okay, it's over my head. This joke is over my head. It's so fun. They've got like classic music playing in the background. $60 on the poodle. It's a neat piece. Simple, uh, but yet really cool. I can't remember who makes a style like this. It'll come to me later. A little plainer than I'm looking for. Oh, Mary Mushroom missing its top. Some Indiana glass. Oh, these are actually plastic. I thought those were going to be pottery. What are these little guys? Short shot. Okay, those are cute. Poor shot. Right, nothing like is just really grabbing me yet. Okay, the uh, Omega Mart milk carton is cool. Omega Mart is inside of our area 15 here. Uh, that's fun. Oh, that looks special and interesting. Does that say on the bottom? Simp 86. That's a fun piece. Very fun piece. They've got 75 on that. Oh, that is a very, very large aquarium paperweight. You know what, I might have to find out how much this one is. That's pretty spectacular. Okay, it's on the bottom. It's marked at 75. I'm gonna see how much I can get this one for. Okay, I'm getting that for $50. She's gonna sell that to me for. Okay, there's some beautiful pieces of jewelry here. Oh, I'm going to have to dig through this jewelry a little bit better. Stand by. Okay, all three of these pieces are kind of tangled together. This is the first one I saw, and I really love it, but I actually don't mind any of these, so I will get them and untangle them later. There's several of these kind of tribal-looking pieces here. Oh, that's interesting. Look at that. Needs a little cleanup, but that is old. That shell. Okay, that's that's super interesting. I'm gonna grab that too. That's interesting. That's like a glass insert in there. It's got a little tag that says. Oh. It says Whiting and Davis. Okay. I'll put that on the pile too. Okay, there's a whole little bowl here. 
some interesting things. Let's see what that one is. Wow. Oh my. What is all of this? Wowza. What is this? I can't quite figure this out, but there's something going on here. I don't know. I can't. I, can't, I don't quite understand that one. Some beads. Okay, that's another interesting piece, and it's got wood. Okay, stand by. Okay, look at this guy. He's gorgeous with coral and turquoise. All right, I gotta find out how much he is too. I think he's missing his beak, but all the stones are there, so let's find out about him. Look at this piece. Oh, he's cool. He's missing a piece of turquoise, though. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. I feel like I have enough crafting friends that we might be able to get him fixed up. Just one little piece of turquoise. All right, we'll put that in the pile, too. Look how sad. I know this can be bent back into shape, but I am not the person to do it. But ah, oh, such a beautiful piece. Okay, we're gonna leave that one for somebody else. Okay, this is really interesting. Look at this. It says genuine copper. That is really neat. All right, again, we've made a big pile of jewelry over there. We're gonna have to just get a price on all of it okay there's my pile so this is the estate of joshua levine and he was an artist so a lot of this is his very cool Ooh. okay that's murano let's see it's got some little bits and pieces in here that I'm going to take out so that we can look on the bottom and see if it's priced. It is not priced, but let's put it in the pile and see what we can do. Oh, that's another gorgeous piece. Uh, I really need two hands for that though. I'll come back to it. Look at this. Look at this lighter. It's lucite. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. We got the penguin in the penguin. Okay, that's interesting. We've got a Murano duck. A small one. I saw the large one for sale. He intrigues me. But look at all of these paperweights. Oh my goodness. My eye goes to this one first. So you see the P? I think, is it a Perthshire? Is that who does the P? That's the clue. That's the artist's signature right there on that paperweight. So let's see what kind of a deal we can make on that one. This one also grabs my eye. This looks Murano. 60. Okay, I'm going to find out how much on that one. This one is also, see it's signed inside there, J, J and P. Isn't that cool how like the signature isn't on the outside, it's in one of the pieces. Oh, that's got 1865 or I think I see 1865 in there. Okay, that's very intriguing too. Okay, I think we're gonna end up with these three. Let me look at this one. No, I don't like the way that one's done. I love these three right here. Okay, this is fun. He must have made these. This must be his creations. Oh, we've got some more. 
That's another good one. I like that one. I like this one. See the control of the bubbles. I like that one. See, made in China. A lot of these were made in China, but they still sell. That's the crazy thing. But if you find the ones that are actually Murano, they sell better. See, this one says. 1883. So that's going to be that same artist. And this one is well done. I don't see anything in there, but I'm liking that one. And I'm liking that one. Okay. Five more. That. Somebody's looking at this piece right now, but it's lucite, glowing. That's cool. All right, a little Capo de Monte. That's a beautiful menorah. It's 30. Look at this art. Oh my gosh. This is very interesting. This is like the precursor to the uh, now the like the acrylic pour. Oh wow! Look at this. Oh, 245. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, these lamps. Look at these. Wow. Got some pretty specimens. I don't know why I'm like kind of pulled to this piece. Look at the beadwork in this. 160. Tyndale. Oh, I really like this. I may look that up. It is a known artist and they do sell in that price range. I may come back to that. I don't know what the best they could do on that is. This is purpled glass. Looks like purposely purple or it was left in the sun to purposely purple. I'm just not a fan. I just can't get behind it. That's a beautiful piece of quartz. Oh man, these lamps are incredible. Look, look at this one. Oh, you remember the floor to ceiling post lamps? And this has the big chunky lava lucite shades. Wow, that's really a cool piece. Okay, it looks like this goes out to the garage. Oh, real plants, real plants. Do we need a real plant? Rachel brought home a plant from Jordan, so I know my kids are kind of into the real plant thing. So not what I expected to find out in the garage. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Look at all of this fabric. This Twelve, right? Am I saying that right? These I know are worth a little bit of money. This Azul tequila, the bottles, the bottles sell really well. It's just not really my thing. It's not really my customer base, so I leave that for somebody else. Super cute clock. What? Black Rock City. I don't understand what that all is. Art. I'm trying to figure out what this little kind of buggy type thing is. What is this? Look, look at the headlight. Mobilis in mobili. It's like a piece of art. It truly is. I can't get far enough away. I want to get to the other side of the garage, hopefully. And no, I can't. It's tight fit up there and it's a tight fit back here. I can't really do it, but. Look at this, look at this car. I mean, it needs a little restoration, that is for sure. It's a Valiant. Wow. I mean, that's the original upholstery, that's never been touched. Now for a car person, that would be pretty super special. Okay, this is a fun, this is a fun sale. That This is one where you gotta really put on your thinking cap because you're not going to be able to just go to eBay and get comps on a lot of this stuff. Oh, it's, it's a little night light, little wood. Looks like a camper. Look at that plug. Look at that. That is so cool. 
let's peek outside <laughs> because everybody needs like some giant, I don't know what they are, penguins. Um, wow. <laughs> wow. I don't even know what to, I don't even know what to think about these. They're, they're huge. They're like eight foot tall. Look at how colorful everything is in this backyard. Oh my gosh. And there's like, look at this. Oh, wow. Wow. I do love all the colored furniture. This gives me ideas. I have blue, but you know, just a can of Rust-Oleum and you can make things any color you want to make them. That's super fun. Wow. Home of an artist. Look at that. Can you believe this was like hung on a wall? It's like a prized possession. I mean, it's not, I, I don't mind it. It's just like not the style we think of today. Oh, I really love this table. Oh, I really love this couch. <gasps> Look at this couch. Oh my gosh, it's in such fabulous condition too. Oh, wow. Okay, Laura Caldwell, uh, what do you think of this one? That's a table lamp. More painted. Oh, look at the mid-century lamps. Oh, wow. Oh, look at these. <laughs> these are right on dinosaurs. Okay. This is so fun. I'm having so much fun. I love my chihuahua. They're by Fringe. Well, you know, I have chihuahua fans, so we'll go put those in the pile. More of this kind of acrylic pour stuff. Like, just put a bunch of jewelry in there and poured it in. That's a nice dainty little, oh, that's another piece taped in there. Huh, these are cool. Let's see who makes these. It's very bright out here. Uh, made in Czechoslovakia, Ger Gerda. That's a nice, nice complete set. $120. More mid-century. Oh, I just like I was so enamored with that one. I forgot to look at this one. I'm trying to make sure that I don't fall into the pool here. Stand by. There we go. Now look at it. Look at all that teak furniture. Even the rug, even the rug underneath is mid-century goodness. Wow. I found more paperweights. That one's cool. I'm not as big of a fan of the egg-shaped ones. Look at this little teeny tiny one. A oh, little dinky. I've got quite a few already, so I'm not really wanting to add too many more. I mean, these, these will sell. But I think I'll leave them for someone else. He's kind of cool. He looks Scandinavian. I think it's, well, it, it's not a pig. Look how long that tail is. I don't know what he is. What is he? What's he, what's he trying to be? There's an owl. Looks like the same maker. He's got a chipped ear. Look at that piece. Oh, wow. There's just so much good stuff here. So I looked over on this table because I was attracted to that. And then I went to pick this up thinking it was glass. It's not. It's lucite with a flower in there. So I think I'm going to grab that one. And this one is glass, but it's, oh, this has been dropped a few times. So we'll leave that one and we'll grab the lucite one. Oh, 
I am loving the color in this house. There's just color everywhere. <gasps> Those lamps are so cool. They are um, plastic, lucite, acrylic, whatever you want to call it. Those and the shades. The shades are original. Six fifty. Oh, that's I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath climbing those stairs. Look at the shoes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Latch hook. Oh, I just even noted like there's a pair on the nightstands. This is crazy. <laughs> Look at the color in this closet. Ooh, I may end up with something in here. Stand by. Okay. Um, they're all priced like $50 to $100, but they're pretty incredible. I must say, most of the ones I really, really like are not my size. Although I was tempted. I was, I was a little tempted <laughs> by this one, even though it's a little big. Look at little fish on it. These are, these are really cool. Really, I love this one. I really love this one. Painted Pony, but it's a large. I cannot wear a large. All right, these are, these are wild. Oh, I like this one too. Maya Meyer, made in US. This one's priced at 60. Look how sweet that is. More mid-century lampage. Oh, yeah, that one's kind of blinking. Okay, so they were a shoe collector. These are all brand new with their boxes. One Incas. One shoe, one tree project. What a great collection. My goodness. I mean, I wish these were women's. I'd be picking some up. So cool. Oh, the mid-century art is everywhere. Just everywhere. More shoes. Oh, look at the sneaker boots. Stained glass mirrors. Oh, that is... I know, I'm, I'm gonna sound like a broken record if I say mid-century some more. Kinda like this piece. Look at this. It's got, like this is a piece of art. You wouldn't wear that. Wow. Look at that macrame. I'm just, I'm just blown away. I am, the, the amount of things all in one place. And I'm blown away this is day two and there's so much still here. I know these tables used to sell for big money. I don't know what they're doing these days. I really kind of like this one too. I really like that. I have no place for it. That says Letterman on that piece of art. That says Letterman. Oh, I like that red jacket. Okay, it's a Pendleton. These are all Pendletons and they are priced at $450. So, it's a little out of my budget, but it's gorgeous. <laughs> this is perspective. There's the stairs to go downstairs. And this is right here. <laughs> Gotta have acrylic grapes at a mid-century sale. Do you see the size of these creatures on the couch? I have to be careful, there's really loud music in here. That's why I'm not able to put a whole lot of the audio on. Another one of these gorgeous lamps. Wow. 
Oh, I just noticed the bar stools. How awesome are those? They are 750 each. Harry Bertoya. There you go. That sale is what you call eye candy if you love mid-century. I know not everybody does. It is definitely a specific style, but I spent $509 on everything. Oh, and threw in, I know I showed it earlier in the video, the, the, I, t I, I think I showed it and talked about it and I was saying I needed a price. The big blue controlled bubble, kind of oblong, it, it, it's a nightlight. It has the original teak base and everything. Like, she threw that in, I think, for 50, 50. I got that for 50. Oh, and then I got another little uh, uh, Costa Boda uh, paperweight for 20 that was sitting over on the table. I just didn't have a camera on, but oh. mind blown at how cool that sale was. And uh, wow, wow. It's very sad though, it's very sad. He passed away at only 48 years old. I mean, you still have half a life left at 48. So uh, that, that gives me some pause. And I hope the art ends up going where it will be loved and respected. Uh, but we are gonna head to a second sale. Yes, I still have time. So let's get to a second estate sale and see what they have. All right, we have driven a ways, but we're still in an older neighborhood. This one looks like they are doing a complete clean out of this house. Okay. Looks like there could be some really awesome goodies here. This looks like a little fairy lamp, like a little terracotta fairy lamp. Huh, $2.99, but I love it. We have no idea where that price is from, but isn't that sweet? I really like that. All right, first thing in the pile. All right, I have started my little pile. I really like those uh, pieces of art. Let me get over there. Let's see if we can see them a little closer. I love that blue color. I've got them priced at 50 each. They're pretty stunning. I don't know what kind of discounts they're doing today. It is the second day of the sale, but they're also running the sale tomorrow. So they may not be discounting today. These have little, look at these little leather slips that go on these. And it's in its original box. They're all here. Do those have a price? Ah, uh, why do I keep finding the stuff without prices? Well, you know what? Let's put them in the pile and find out. We're in the little bar area. Again, this is an older house. So, we are liable to find some treasures. That's what that little area looks like. How cool is that? Looks like a beautiful... Madonna. That's really pretty. Okay. I think it is it meant to be no. So yeah, it's meant to be a nightlight. I can tell that by that little divot right there. So the little bolt, I think, right? That's a cord. That's a cord divot. I mean she's beautiful just as a figurine, so let's get her. Little table of goodies. Look at these. Little hand blown. He's got a broken, broken tail. That's a little bird in a tree. They're so delicate. Too delicate for me today to deal with. He's cool. Yeah, there is a lot of Capitamonte, isn't there? I tend to stay away from it. It like breaks if you look at it funny. Okay, look at this cute little guy. Just snagged him from the kitchen and brought him out here where the light was a little better. 
I just think he's adorable. And then I found this really cool brush that says made in Western Germany in the shape of a fish. This room is really dark. I'm having to really concentrate to see things. Oh, look at that lamp. These homes do have some interesting floor plans. Again, more art. Oh, more art. I have some big art to still deal with. Quite an assortment of things. Not you. Like gold and 90s. Now we got some books. Got Jesus looking over everything as it should be. Maybe he's making sure, you know, nobody's fighting over the remote. I do like that tree, that brass tree piece. It's 40. That one is marked 40. And I can probably negotiate a little better, but let's see what else we can find first. Looks like there is quite a bit of digging to do here, but my eye is drawn over here. It is a painting. I was hoping it was on velvet. It is not. I think it's a paint by number. It's super cool. But again, I'm, I'm, I gotta deal with the art that I have. So I was digging a little bit and I found this vintage Christmas tablecloth. I'm opening it up to make sure there's no like big stuff. You see there are, there's some stains. So you always have to take that into consideration. I know there's some great products out now to do that like OxyClean type products. Oh, this is the Nutcracker. It's the Nutcracker, right? Right? Am I am I seeing it correctly? Maybe not. Maybe I'm maybe I'm seeing things. Okay, maybe not. Oh, there's a tag. WC Designs made in Brazil. All right, the price is going to be right. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick that up too. Oh my goodness, look at all the zippers. Holy smokers. She was a crafter. All right, we are in a bedroom. I'm gonna set down my tablecloth there. Take a peek. Cool jewelry box. Lovely 90s mirrored headboard there. What was it about the 90s and mirrors? Oh, look at all these little baskets. <gasps> and the little fans. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. There's got to be something to do. Okay, Julie, One Way Vintage. I know you do your little salt and peppers and they're absolutely fabulous, but just think what you could do with a basket. Mmm. Can I get the, can I get your wheels turning? Julie's doing crafting shows now on Tuesday morning, or sorry, Wednesday mornings over on the Knit Shopping Network. And, uh, okay, well maybe I might have to do something with baskets. These are so fun. Okay, I'm going to pick through these. Who am I kidding? I'm just going to take them all. But I'll definitely get Julie this little single shaker to make one of her beautiful Julie's jewels out of. Okay, I'm circling back. Just negotiated a price on the beautiful ship paintings for $20 each. Okay, that's a really, that's a really groovy uh, suitcase. Hi pack, you pack. I'm hoping it's in really good shape inside. See, that's a good test. If you can open it up one-handed, that's a good sign. Did I just zip it? I actually just zipped it. Oh, because it's one of those. That was the expansion part. Okay. That's the opening part. There we go. Oh, it's really clean inside. Okay. I'm loving that suitcase. Oh, it's got a friend down here. Let's get that too. Okay, I'm back in the kitchen. It's a little quieter now. This caught my eye, but it's got a major chip going on there. But you don't normally see these majolica planters with a bird. I'm so sad that he's chipped, but next to him, I had to look and I'm like, oh, 
Oh, this is one of the aquarium fish paperweights. I think that will clean up quite nicely. And this one will be priced right for me to buy for resale. So I will get it. Okay, I just realized that there's another room over here we haven't seen yet. Oh, this must be like the master bedroom in this house. Some belts. Sewing box. Empty. Look at this whole thing of like, patches. Oh my, look at these. See, I'm always so intrigued by stuff like this. This has to have some value. These are vintage, little patches, a whole bag full. You know what? I'm gonna figure those out. I'm gonna figure those out, putting them in the pile. Okay, I just figured it out that what she was doing with them was making little, little children's clothing. Look at all this children's clothing. All handmade. Oh, look at that. That's so cute. All right, that's that's what she used the patches for. Oh wow, I just realized what this is. This is her sewing machines. That one's already sold. I don't know anything about sewing machines, but it looks like she was a pretty serious sewer. Okay. Let's see what goodies are out. Oh, the tree just got me. Oh, <laughs> this is the saddest thing right here. I actually have a matching one of those in my yard, thanks to Eileen. That's groovy. Look, that was hanging like in a macrame. Some of this is a bit rough from just being outside. It's good treasure digging though. Oh, think speaking of macrame, too bad that has been outside. It's a little, it's a little messed up. Like there's even a big old fountain in the corner over here. Let's see, anything else? Alright, outside garagey kind of stuff. Okay, make sure that if you are in Las Vegas, you are going to these amazing people's estate sales because they're fantastic. I paid $80 for everything. Uh, that included, what, 40 of that was for the art Can't go wrong, can't go wrong. Definitely a company to put on your list if you are a reseller here in Las Vegas, or even if you just like to go and find cool stuff because there's treasures to be found. I can't wait to send Julie some of the goodies. Actually, I haven't talked to her first, but like, what can we do with baskets? The basket thing might be on me. That might be my thing to figure out. Give me some ideas. What would be cute in those little baskets? What could I do? I have a lot of silk flowers. I have a lot of little miniatures. Give me some ideas down in the comments of what I could do with those baskets. I'm used to working with larger base pieces, but those might be fun to do on video little projects. Okay, get the wheels spinning for me on that one. I'm gonna go and process some stuff. I'm a little behind as I'm making this video. I'm a little behind on getting things listed. So that is my goal, to get caught up on today, get more pictures taken, and get that stuff into the nicheladyshop.com for you to go find your joy. All right, with that, you go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.